our Colette Bordelon, she's been out here all afternoon with me. And while things are getting more tense and heated tonight, we spoke with the day protest organizers who really just want to keep the peace and move the message forward, Colette. That's right, Elizabeth. I'm down here at City Hall right now. We still have hundreds gathered behind me. We're a few minutes into that curfew that the city of Colorado Springs did enforce today. Hundreds still out and about. We actually did just see a small fight. Looked like it broke out, but it did disperse fairly quickly. Other protesters actually forcing that person to leave the crowd, saying peaceful protest. They are chanting that. That is clearly the goal, whether you're talking about the daytime or the nighttime crowd. Now, I did have the chance to shadow one of the organizers of those daytime protests. Us. Here's what it looks like from his point of view. Everyone come up, everybody come up. Meet Charles Johnson. No Trump, no KKK, no racist USA. One of a handful of organizers. Louder. Trump, no KKK, no racist USA. Louder. Making his voice heard. Louder. With his megaphone. No racist USA. Louder. No Trump, no KKK, no racist USA. This is more of a peaceful protest, you know, we're getting our words across. As they march around downtown, Louder! Johnson leading the way. Nobody's alone regardless of skin color or race, you know, we can always stand together. Why sit and wait for change to happen when you could be a part of it? Even though a curfew was put into place in Colorado Springs. Honestly, 10 o'clock is not, it's honestly not a bad time. If we stay peaceful, you know, it's, there's no need for a curfew, but there are all those people, you know, that are I would say free radicals that, you know, have ideas of anarchy and, you know, they want to riot and that kind of makes, you know, it destroys our message. We want to be peaceful. We want peace. Saying there are two distinct groups out and about, one that may get more coverage because of what happens late at night. They really aren't standing up for a cause. They're just out there just to fight. Johnson making sure their message does not get lost in the crowds. If we just sit down and come together, you know, have dialogue with the chief, with everyone in the community, and just come together and show that we can get things done in the step by step process. And taking their time to honor George Floyd and many others. What if no one protested? Would those officers still be out in the street today? Putting the megaphone down, a sign of how change can happen when we all listen to both the noise and the silence. Now Johnson is trying to start a nonprofit called Move. That is hopefully a local way to donate, but there is an announcement going on right now from the Colorado Springs Police Department. I'd like to listen to it very quickly. It's saying that they're violating the 10 p.m. curfew, I do believe. Not obeying the curfew order. Now we are going to be down here to see what exactly happens, but yeah, that nonprofit Johnson's trying to start called Move should be a way to answer those questions about what do you do next after you go to a protest or perform some kind of activism. And actually, if we look behind us, lots of protesters look like they are starting to leave City Hall. It looks like they are dispersing. I'm not entirely sure where everyone's headed at the moment. I'm going to go try to get a better look at this angle. Some people are holding up their hands, walking towards these orange caution gates as a sign of, of course, you know, just activism and peaceful protest out here. Now I am trying to figure out where the majority of them are headed. It almost looks like they're walking to Acacia Park and we are actually following them. But if you guys want to check back in with us a bit later, I'd understand, Rob. I know it's kind of a fluid situation. They're encouraging people to go to the sidewalks right now. We are not going to the sidewalk. <laughs> but yes, we're going to be out here. We are going to find out exactly what is happening, what exactly the penalty is for breaking this curfew. We'll be out here live in all of all your updates. But as for right now, always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.